Hi, I'm Stephen Evans. We're at Peg Lake Studio, and today we are building this desk. This is a simple project that you can build to bring a little organization to your home. There is a full list of tools and materials at the end of the video, but let's get started on our cut list. A great part about this project is that you can get all seven pieces cut from two sheets of 24 by 48 inch plywood. You need two 18 by 38 inch pieces for the top and bottom of the desk. Three two and three quarter by 15 and three quarter inch pieces will be the sides and center support of the desk. And the two and three quarter by 38 inch piece will run along the back of the desk. Save the offcut. We'll use that later in the project. The next step is to cut down the two by twos. Two are seven and a quarter inches long for the top of the leg brace with a 15 degree angle on one end. And two that are 11 and a half inches long for the bottom of the leg brace also with a 15 degree angle on one end. Then you will need two 31 and 1 8 inch pieces with parallel 15 degree angles on each end for the front legs. Finally, cut two legs 30 inches long that are square on the ends. To put together the top of the desk, I'll first need to drill three evenly spaced pocket holes on the sides and center support of the desk. Two of these will be identical while the third is a mirror image. I will also need to drill a pocket hole at the end of each piece so it can attach to the back. Next, drill four pocket holes on the back. Now, let's assemble the top. Choose one of the 18 by 38 inch plywood pieces to be the desk surface. Turn it face down, then measure and mark a line 19 and 3 8 inches from one edge. Place one of the 2 and 3 quarter inch central support pieces along the line so that it's in the center of the desktop. Next, Arrange the other two and three quarter inch pieces along the edges with the pocket holes at the top and facing the inside of the desk. Then carefully join the pieces with wood glue. And clamp together. Then secure at the pocket hole screws. Wipe away any excess glue. Next, we'll add the legs. With the box upside down, use a square to lightly mark a line on one side one inch from the back of the box. Now, use a two by two as a guide to mark where we will place the back leg. Drill three one eighth inch holes through the plywood between the lines in a staggered pattern. Then, glue and clamp the back leg in place. Secure the leg with three two inch screws from inside the box into the leg. Lay the seven and a quarter inch piece down with the square edge against the leg, then draw a line across the top and down the angled end. Remove and drill three holes. Next, add glue and secure with screws. Then repeat this on the other side. Next, take the 32 inch front leg and place the angle edge into place. Mark the lines, drill the pilot holes, and finally attach with screws. I'm going to dry fit the rest of the desk so we can easily take it apart and paint it. Next, lay the bottom of the box into place. Lay the 11 and a half inch piece against the inside of the leg that was just installed. Make sure the square end is flush with the back leg. The angled end should be flush with the angled front leg and the side is flush with the edge of the plywood. 
Drill two pilot holes through the 11 and a half inch pieces. Now we are cutting down the rear support. Take the five and seven eighths by 48 inch piece and place it against the back of the box. Mark and cut down the piece to fit. Check the fit. Then drill two holes evenly spaced along the edge. Okay, now we've got all of our pieces pre-drilled. Everything is assembled, dry fit, but we're still at a stage where we can take it apart to start sanding and finishing it. Don't worry, we will put it back together and this time use wood glue to secure it. With a little paint or stain, the desk can match any room in your home. When you are ready to build your own DIY desk, here is the full list of tools and materials you'll need. Good luck, and thanks for shopping at the Home Depot.